HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Hello and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this Senior Night edition of HCAM News, we will show you scenes from a number of Hopkinton Hillers Winter Sports Senior Nights and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. But first, this week was a very busy week for Hiller Boys Hockey. Here's a look. This past week, Hillers Boys Hockey hosted three games in five nights. The busy stretch started on Saturday, February 8th, when the Hillers hosted second place Norwood in the TVL Large. Both teams netted a goal in the first period. Eight goals, 18 assists, 26 points. As there's a quick shot and a goal! How about that? And that was Cam Jarrett. I think that might have gone off a leg in front. It took a strange bounce, but what a good shot right off the point. Nice face-off win. The Hillers are always good at those offensive face-offs. How about that power? The goal comes with 13-19 left in the first period. Right on a break. Looking for a shot, and it's in. I got to admit, that was the beauty of a shot by Connor Leiden. Broke right up the ice past two Hillers and got his second goal of the season. The Hillers set themselves apart in the second period. Over to Saporoshitz. There's a wrister turned away. Out in front, Quinlan sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot, and that is out, and that past the goal line. That's a goal! The defender tried to get the stick in there, but the official watching it the whole way saw it past the goal line. And how about that? Andrew Gilbert makes it a two to one game. It's with the back pass looking for Hamblin. Mara. Racing in, there's a shot and a goal! Have it, Mara! And how about that wrister? Beautiful shot, took that off the boards, took it right out to the middle, and I think he was able to use a little bit of a screen and put that right in the top corner. Get the fuck out of their zone. Mara to Rogers, shot, turned away, secondary shot in! Saperosius on the rebound! 4-1 Hillers. Getting good puck move by the Hillers, nice passing. Saparosius went right to the net. Was able to pick up that rebound wide open. Four goals in the second period, and that would be more than enough. The Hillers take the game 5-2. On Monday, February 10th, the Hillers took on Oliver Ames out of the Hockamock in a non-league battle. Quinton Barnes netted his first goal of the season to give the Hillers an early lead. They'll send it out over to Barnes. Barnes was looking for a wrister there, it was deflected, and he'll take another stab at it, and it is in! How about that? Quinton Barnes makes it a 1-0 game for the Hillers. Yeah, good play there. He's fortunate the first puck went off the uh, defender's shin pad, came right back to him, was able to move around him and get a nice wrist shot off. Five hole. Hopkinton added two more goals after that in the first. Is third for the team leaders and goals, and here's a shot opportunity and a goal with ease, Kyle Rogers. A nice feed from Pavit Mara, and Kyle Rogers finishes it off. What a great play, and that started in the Hill's end. Saparosius made a great defensive play. The defender, I mean, the uh, offensive player got around him, but he made a great stick check. Was able to get it off there and send them up on the break. Gilbert. Miller's just waiting for that perfect opportunity. There's a shot turned away, and then it is deflected in off the stick of Mara. 3-0 heading to the second, and the Hillers did some more damage. Very shot a little wide. Over to the near side corner it goes as Hamlet digs it out, sends it out in front. Mara takes a shot, it's deflected, and now Hamlet with a shot, and it's in. Mara, Jarrett sends it up over to Carraza. 
Peraza going to be tripped up along the far side. Here comes Aiden Walsh coming in, and he's tripped up. And now Gilbert takes a shot, and then it's put in by Terry. A little bit of justice there, as that very well should have been interference from Oliver Ames. But nice follow-up by Terry going right to the net. Nice work in front. I think that's going to be uh, Terry's first goal of his career as a grabbing the puck for him, too. You are correct. That is his first goal of the season, also his first point of the season. It was a 5-1 Hillers lead heading into the third. And in the third, the Hillers with yet another early period goal. There it towards Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot out in front of the net. Hamlet gets a stick on it, and it's in. Great play there as, as Kevin Mira made a great look. He a saucer pass over to the defenseman. And a nice shot in front of Tommy Hamlet right there for the rebound. Tommy Hamlet with his second goal of the game. Makes it a 6-1 Hillers lead with 13.47 left to go. Tommy Hamblett reaches the career 100-point milestone with the score, and the Hillers' lead is up to 6-1, to but Oliver Ames responded in a big way. Oliver Ames scored not one, not two, not three, but four goals of their own and made it a 6-5 to game. But there is just no quit in this year's Hillers hockey team. Approaching three minutes left to go in this game. A 6-5 to Hillers lead. Aiden Walsh takes a shot. And the puck still loose out in front, and then Aiden Walsh puts it in. And he'll take a shot on the empty net and put it right in. The finisher for Tommy Hamblett. Hopkinton adds a couple more goals and hangs on for win number 15 and takes the game eight to five. Not all wins can be pretty, right? Wednesday, February 12th was senior night versus Holliston. Prior to the game, the Hillers celebrated the 10 seniors on the roster. Number two, Captain Drew Sakharosius. Number three, Reese Griffiths. Number five, Jake Weinstock. Number eight, Curtis Terry. Number 10, Will Quinlan. Number 11, Captain Sean Walsh. Number 12, Kyle Rogers. Number 14, Dan Kirk. Number 19, Captain Tommy Hamlet. Number 30, the goalie, Ray Bailey. It was a scoreless first period, but the Hillers got things going in the second. Rogers across to Walsh on a one-timer, and it's in! Sean Walsh, goal number 17. What a beauty. Good play there. Good luck. Good pass across. And Quattroy could not get back in time as Walsh was able to blast that high in the top corner. And Walsh along the far side. Walsh trying to come away with it. Walsh on a break. Look out. Here he comes. Walsh going in, and he'll put it in. 2-0 Hillers. Sean Walsh on the breakaway. Three up against the stick of Schneelog. And now out in front, shot, goal, Hamlet. Walsh on the assist. Sean Walsh with a great steal there. Just took it right away from the defender and made a beautiful pass out front to Hamlet. Three second period goals, and that would be all that was needed. The Hopkinton Hillers take the game three to nothing and improve to 16-1 and 0 and officially clinch the TVL Large title. The Hillers will now head down to Martha's Vineyard for a tournament to finish regular season play. Our next H-Camp coverage of Hillers hockey will be during the playoffs, and we are hoping for a long, long Hillers run. Congratulations on an incredible season, Hopkinton Hillers. Last Friday, Hiller Boys Basketball celebrated senior night prior to their game with Medfield. It was also their annual Coaches vs. Cancer game. All proceeds from the game went to the fight against cancer. This year, the cause certainly meant a lot to the team. Hopkinton Hiller's Boys Basketball head coach Tom Keene took some time off from the team during the season to battle colon cancer and we are very happy to let you know that Coach Keene stated 
He is now cancer free and is back with the team. Here's a look at a special night in the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center. Uh, tonight is Coaches versus Cancer and also very importantly, it's a night to recognize the seniors. Every night, um, every year on this night, you know, I thank the student body for coming to the games and I thank the uh, community members for coming to the game and, and the pep band. Um, but I'd be remiss if I didn't take this time, since I have the mic, to thank everybody in the community of Hopkinton for the support and outpouring of well wishes and prayers and good thoughts for my family. It's, it's really reaffirmed and confirmed what I've always thought about the town of Hopkinton. So I want to thank everybody in the community. I had uh, so many people uh, reaching out to me and many of them sharing personal stories about um, their battles with cancer. So I want to thank everybody, and I'd like to thank everybody who came out tonight. Thank you so much. And now, as I said, tonight is definitely a night to recognize the seniors and all that they've done over their four years. So we're going to introduce the seniors and call out their parents, and they're going to take a quick picture. First up, Captain Stephen Maffiori with his parents Keith and Mary and Grandma Peg. Next up, Captain Tommy Ambrosoni with his parents Mark and Maria and brother Michael. Next up, Captain Drew Rancatori with his father, David, and his uncle, Steve. <laughs> Drew's mom, Maureen, wanted to be here, but she was under the weather tonight, so we'll send good thoughts to uh, Maureen and Grandma Ruth. Next up, Jacob Cohen with his mother, Lori, and sister, Allison. Ned Dean with his parents, Tim and Allison Dean. Travis Finfrock with his parents, Jeff and Lisa Finfrock. Alan Rosen with his parents, Bruce and Linda Rosen and brother, Joel. Ellis Spar with his parents Jerry and Elizabeth Spar, sister Olivia and brother Kyler. And I'd like to recognize our senior manager and scorekeeper, Jason Hicks. Ambersoni with the steal, Finfrock. And nice put back. After the senior night festivities, the Hillers game versus Medfield got underway. Twelve different players got into the scorebooks for the Hillers. The Hillers led after the first quarter, 18-6. Hopkinton added a whole lot more scoring in the second quarter. Ambersoni... Outside, Cooper knocks down the three. The Hillers closed out the second half on a 21 to nothing run and went into the halftime locker room 
up 44 to 13. Back outside to Ambersoni, he'll reset. 13 on the shot clock. Nice pick from Rosen. Back out to Mafiori. And Steve picks up right where he left off. The Hillers continued to dominate in the second half. The third quarter ended with the score 58 to 26 Hillers. Hopkinton ended up taking the game 80 to 51. With the win, the Hillers improved to 10 and 7 on the season and officially clinched a playoff spot. The Hillers boys basketball team with quite the exciting senior night and a tremendous win over a good Medfield team. Coming up next, scenes from girls basketball senior night. Plus Matt Clark has our HCAM insider. You are tuned into HCAM News. Don't go anywhere. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Welcome back to HCAM News. Hopkinton Hillers girls basketball also celebrated senior night this past week. Here's a look at the festivities. Uh, first to the student body, the parents, the families and fans for their continued support all season. I want to thank Mike Terosian and all the folks over at HCAM. They do a great job making sure our games get televised and um, broadcast all over YouTube and live streamed. A right, big thank you to the HBA, uh, Jerry Spar, and all the youth coaches in town. With, without them, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. Thank you to the Hopton and Boosters uh, for all their support. To Lou Sanborn and Rich Cormier in the athletic office, our athletic trainer, Amanda Magier, our administrative team, Evan Bishop, Josh Hanna, and Justin Palmonville. A big, big thank you to our custodial and maintenance staff who make all this stuff on game day happen. A big thank you to the Hopkinton Pep Band, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight, but they've been great this season. And to all the people who have worked the ticket table uh, and the score table and the shot clock throughout the year as well, big thank you to all of them. Uh, I want to recognize our senior managers. First, Callie Ronan. And Ashley McDermott. Uh, I want to give a special thank, uh, special welcome rather to the Norwood fans and Norwood team. Congratulations to you guys on another successful season. We'd like to recognize your seniors, number five, Allison Giambanco, and number 12, Emma Maturo. And lastly, I want to take a moment to recognize our own seniors. Uh, both have been nothing but positive role models to all the youth basketball players, all the girls uh, in our own program over the last four years. Uh, we appreciate everything they've given to us and given to the program. So please join me in recognizing uh, first number five, Olivia Gladu, joined by her mother Suzanne, stepfather Paul, her father Eric, and her grandparents John and Carol.
And our other senior, number 24, Cami McDonald, joined by her parents, Kathy and Mike. Thank you very much. After the senior night festivities, the Hiller girls took on Norwood. It was a good effort by the Hillers, but they fell to TVL large champion Norwood by a final of 40 to 28. The Hillers are eight and nine on the season and must win two of their three remaining games to get into the playoffs. Best of luck, Hopkinton Hillers. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello Hopkinton, Matt Clark here to bring you everything happening this week on HCAM. So sit back and get ready for this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, February 14th at 5 p.m., local poets and musicians gather to share their music and poetry in a new open mic episode of Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. And at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers boys basketball team takes on the Bellingham Blackhawks, live on HCAM Ed. On Saturday, February 15th at 8 a.m., tune in for some classic cartoon shenanigans on a new episode of Toon Time. On Monday, February 17th at 7.30 p.m., Dr. Cavanaugh talks with members of the HMS administration about the planning process for the upcoming 8th grade New York City trip on a new episode of Highlights from the Hill on HCAM Ed. On Wednesday, February 19th at 8 p.m., the Hopkinton Lions Club hosts a youth speech contest with the theme of What is Heroism? on a new episode of HCAM TV Special. And also at 8 p.m. on HCAM Ed, middle schoolers gather to share their incredible talents and abilities in the 2020 HMS Talent Show on a new HCAM Ed Special. If you want to know more about all of HCAM shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash newsletters, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you could stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community, and check out the Hopkinton Community Calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon. I'm Mike Tarosian and I'm here at the Hopkins High School Cafeteria for a very special night. Tonight is International Night. This is where all the international students and all the clubs come here and they show off their countries. They show the similarities and differences to the United States and their countries and we get to taste some fine food. So why don't you come with me, we're going to go talk to some of the uh, international students, some of the clubs, and we're going to try out some of their food.
All right, so I'm gonna make a little visit to China right now. So over here, I see this large display. What, what is your name? My name is Zach Wayne. Okay. And you're from where? I'm from Shenzhen, China. Okay. And you're over here, and what are you displaying for us here? So here I make this, I like this, it's uh, a kind of tradi traditional Chinese food, yeah. the Chinese fried rice. So I, me and my host family actually helped me to make this. Okay. And we just bring this here, like a lot of people just take it. We have this much dishes <laughs> just now. Okay. Actually yeah. a few more over there we can make it work. What? I said there's a few more we can maybe work it. So, uh, so you're gonna show off, uh, are you gonna be doing a presentation later? Yeah, I'm doing a presentation later about like the culture and history on China and actually it's a normal like student life. You know, like a typical day where I was in a Chinese high school. So I will do that presentation like later, like 6.30, 6.40 something. I love my job. This is great. All right, so I'm taking a little trip to Italy right now, and uh, what's your name? Uh, no. No? And who's with you? Uh, I'm Mateo. with Matteo. Hello. Yeah. And what are you showing off for us today? Well, this is a pasta alla matriciana that is a typical tomato sauce pasta with pancetta. Yeah. Here we have a different kind of pasta. We have ham, cream, and mozzarella. Uh -huh. This is a typical plate from like the middle of Italy. And then we have some bruschetta, bruschetta. right? With bruschetta. mozzarella and tomatoes. And garlic as well. Oh. And then we have two whole caps of tiramisu. We have a lot of tiramisu, yeah. And a famous dessert from the north of Italy. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Alright, so you show this up. Uh, will you be doing presentations later? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're going to present a pasta, Italian pasta. All the it's different all... kind of pasta. Okay, and are you going to show off the similarities between America and Italy? Well, it isn't like American pasta is really good. Actually, it's really bad and you shouldn't eat it. You should just eat Italian pasta. So we're not going to talk no, about American pasta. are two different things. Italian pasta and American pasta are two different things. So yeah, okay. we're going to explain the difference. All right. So can I try some of this? Sure. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm going in. Uh, we'll, we'll see what the difference is. Yeah, you can hold that for me while I try. Oh, that's good. Wait, do you want this as well? I'll try a little of that too. This is why I don't eat dinner before I come here. You like it? Oh, yeah. I was meant for this job. Yep. Oh. I bet you were. That was very tasty.